So far I've looked at the scarf only because I wasn't looking. Then again, I can't make this mine. So far I was close to size and turned the scarf to be different. He put he put some Godzilla markings on it. While using his powers at the same time. Making this scarf his scarf. Or was his scarf. Even though he had no use to it. <sighs> as thoughtful this was, Mixa, uh, next time think before you end up giving me your scarf. He wrapped the scarf around Mixa's, around Mixa. Uh, she ended up blushing. Thank you. She looked at this sort of change on it. What did you? I made it what it used to be my scarf. So that way, I actually gave you something that was mine. Super Final Wars, can I tell you something? What's up? You don't have to be Aaron, you know? What are you talking about? You can go talk to the guys any time and any day you want. And there's no reason for you to be afraid of it. You're just going there, talking to them. But, it doesn't matter what you look like. Sure, you may look different from Aaron. And sure, you may resemble Aaron, but... That doesn't mean they won't prefer you as Aaron. Is that what you're afraid of? Yeah. Connie and I told me on telling me about what happened with Aaron. When Sasha died by Gabby, he laughed, and he wanted to cut Aaron down. Armin wanted to basically gave give Aaron's founder to someone else so they can trust. And you're afraid that they that they might do it to you because you look like Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. The fact that I look like Aaron makes me sick. So, Final Wars, I can assure you, they'll never think of you as Aaron Yeager. Aaron Yeager was heartless, he was cruel. And to think that I allowed myself to follow him, well, I, really, well, I really should be following you. Minksa, uh, you do realize that your argument, genetics, they won't need to have any effect on me. I can protect myself. I know. But just talk to them. And I promise you that they're not going to do that to you. You sure? I'm sure. Plus, you're their friend. They'll never hurt you. Even if you look like Aaron, they'll never, ever hurt you. If they did, your father can just come charging right after them. Good point. I guess it won't hurt if I go talk to them. Thank you, honey. Make sure you come back home before dinner starts. Don't worry, I will. So we're fine once got up, I went to go I have a conversation with Jean and Sasha and Connie and Armin. He swallowed and opened the door. Hey, some fun wars. Hey, man. What's going on? I'm. Um, I'm um, bro. Hey, um. How you guys been? We've been fine. Yeah, we've been completely fine. Armin noticed that some farms was shaking a little bit. Are you okay? Are you cold? No, I'm not cold. Plus, Armin, there's one thing to make kaiju juice are. We don't get cold. We never get cold. I just have something to say to you guys. What's up? 
do you think of me as Aaron Yeager? The group stayed, stood silent for a moment. Hanji and Levi were nearby as well. What do you mean? Well, do you see me as Aaron Yeager? Do you think that I am Aaron? What? Why would, why, why, why on earth would you say that? Of course you're not Aaron. Sure, you may resemble him, but you're not Aaron. Well, what makes you think that? Yeah, what makes you think that we'll see you as Aaron Yeager? Well, what you told me, Sean, you said that Aaron laughed at Sasha's death, and you and everyone else was basically mad at him. And Connie, you told me that you wanted to basically cut down Aaron. Armin, you said that you wanted to basically give Aaron's founder to someone else. Not exactly what I said, but similar. And the fact that Survey Corps that the fact that a few survey corps members, military police, were created by were the agorists, and they were created by team by Aaron. So I thought, if you guys looked at me as Aaron, you might think that I'm just like him. What? No, 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 buddy. We would never think of you as Aaron Yeager. Aaron was heartless. He was cruel. All he cared about was himself. Sure, the thought about you... Sure, you looking like Aaron does kind of give us some bad memories. But you also gave us some good memories. About the old Aaron that we used to know. The old Aaron we used to know and love was our friend, and you basically bring him back. The new Aaron, well, I never liked him. That Aaron was different. Yeah, that Aaron was not the one we used to know and love as our dear friend. Are you sure? Of course we're sure. As long as you don't Follow Aaron's footsteps. You are not Aaron. And you are our dear friend. Plus, you keep us out from the front lines when it comes to battle. And we thank you for that. You're welcome. So, you're sure that I... That I'm basically not Aaron? Yeah, we're sure. Is that what's like bothering you? I'm not laying. Is that why you avoid on talking to us? Was because we thought that you're Aaron Yeager? Well, sort of, yeah. Well, you're not Aaron. So, please don't. Think of yourself as Aaron. Yeah. And plus, don't ever think that we'll that we are gonna hurt you just because you look like Aaron. Heck, I mean, sure, the thought of you being Aaron's twin brother will be pretty funny. Everyone busts out laughing. Yeah, I guess it would be funny that Aaron had a twin brother who's a bit more cooler, handsomer, and a lot more awesomer than him. Sir Bowers looked at Sean. Did you literally call me handsome? Yeah, because to be honest with you, Sir Bowers, you're like ten times more handsomer than Aaron. I can see why Meeks have fall for you. Well, it's not that. It's not just that, Sean. I care about Miksa. I, 
I was the one who basically killed those kidnappers and ate half of them just to protect her. You ate the kidnappers? Fuel in the tank. God dang, I've been hanging out. Oh my god, Mikasa was right. I've been hanging out with Venom too much. Everyone could help with the face plant. You've been hanging out with Venom? Yeah, me and him have a lot in common. I'm surprised I'm not his host. Then again, it would be awesome. Yeah, that would be really freaking awesome if you had Venom and he was your ho and he is your like symbiote. My god, imagine his strength and power level. And not just that, with your powers and his powers combined, you could possibly make him immune to high sound to like very loud sounds and immune to fire. Hey, I'm gonna ask that to the other I'm gonna ask that to my friends. I'll be right back. So we're finally what's left to go have a little conversation with Karen's at three, Zilta's and Super Burning Godzilla Dark Dragon, and Super Godzilla Earth and Mecha Super Godzilla Earth. He was asking them on what they'll think if he had Venom as his symbiote. Oh my God, Super Finals, you would be a beast. You would be just be a monster with Venom. Not to say you and Venom share a lot in common. Do I super burning Godzilla? What? Do I actually share a lot in common with Venom? Yeah, the fact that you act like him sometimes, and the fact that you have an addiction on eating bad human, well, bad guys. Yeah, it's kind of true, Super Fireworks. You do have an addiction on eating bad guys. Heck, Kanji told us that you ate like five kidnappers when you were a kid. Fuel in the tank, Dark Dragon. Fuel in the tank. Not just that, with Venom by your side, I'm pretty sure you'll be even more terrifying than I mean, with Venom by your side. <laughs> well, let's just say that I might be more of a beast. Well, if you don't mind me, guys, I'm going to go home before Mikasa ends up worrying about me. So far, I was walking home. It ended up raining. It was middle of the night. It was middle of the nightfall. This gave Super Finals an interesting flashback on what happened two years ago before you left. The flashback was when hmm, Super Mecha Godzilla Earth was telling them about trains. And they were building their own train and station, their own train roads and all that stuff. Instantly, rain was coming in. It was pretty heavy, too. And it ended up, well, getting Mikasa very, very, very wet. That it was me in certain parts. Well, kind of a bit more difficult for Mikasa to handle. And she basically wanted to to have different clothes because it was. The rain was making her clothes a bit more see-through and revealing certain uh, things that people should not see. And Super Flowers ended up noticing it. And at the back of his mind, he was thinking, Ah, crap, I can't let anyone else see this.